Hello again. Welcome to the Organizational Theory and Design course. Today, we'll continue with Chapter 5, Fundamentals of Organizational Design. We will start this chapter by talking about technology. Then we'll talk about technology management, technology management processes, and lastly, activities and technology management tools. So, let's start with technology. The term technology is defined and described by several authors in literature. It's generally thought and accepted that the term technology comes from Greek with the combination of the words techne and logia. In other words, it can be described as the way of doing or making a job, art, science, or any kind of craft. As seen from the definition, technology is a complex concept that embodies information, production, process, inputs and outputs, organizations and techniques. It is also accepted as configurations of processes and products. The other concept is the knowledge of crafting, processes and developments for using the hardware and other physical tools. Therefore, it will be too simple and inappropriate to accept technology just as cell phones or computers. On the other hand, pointing the words technology and technique to different meanings can be important to explain. While the term technique refers to the set of scientific knowledge and experience to use to accomplish tasks, technology is the ability of using scientific knowledge and experience with the help of tools, machines, and materials. Therefore, these two concepts do not differ completely from each other, but complete each other in different perspectives. When we look at technology management, we can see that it is defined as a process for planning and controlling the necessary technologies to shape and realize the strategic and functional goals of the organizations. It can also be seen as a multidisciplinary approach, combination of engineering, management, information technologies. Another definition for technology management is the use of the sources and actual technologies to improve the necessary strategies by thinking about socio-economic environment and future markets. The integration of organizational strategies with the technology management may have several effects on vital events of organizations. One of these effects is the expectation of creating and strengthening competitive advantage of organizations with the whole processes of technology management. In the long run, the phenomenon to be strategic will cover a long-term progress. Therefore, choosing and acquiring the appropriate technologies, a sub-process of management that is called planning, must be done properly for the aims and targets of organizations. Several orders focus on and discuss the strategic and functional dimensions of technology management. To evaluate, analyze, and interpret the important technology management processes, selecting or recruiting the right employees for following technological updates and progresses may have positive effects on organizational development and change. The capacities of organizations will also have an effect on acquiring skills or experiences and managing their own knowledge or information they have. Now let's move on to technology management processes and activities. Technology can be seen as a source for organizations. As mentioned before, technology management is a combination of decision making, work processes, strategy development, innovation and product development and operation management. These combinations help organizations to develop themselves, compete with other organizations and have relative or competitive advantage. The technology management framework explains how strategy, innovation, and functional processes are related to each other. According to this framework, technology base is the center. This technology base covers all concepts of technological knowledge, development of new and existing products and services which are supported by competencies and capabilities of the organization. Strategy, innovation, and the operations are the core needs for organization to compete. Technology management sub-processes help technology base. Technology identification is the initial sub-process, including the identification of existing technologies and new technologies for products and services and the processes within an organization. 
Another aim of the technology identification is to reduce the environmental uncertainty. Internal scanning and external scanning can reduce the environmental uncertainty. Selection process is about giving decisions for using appropriate technologies from the alternatives. To select the right technology among the alternatives, multi-criteria decision-making models can be used by the specialists, engineers, or technology managers. Acquisition process involves a number of individuals from almost every department of the organization. Acquisition process is also assessment of the opportunities and finding the promising acquirer from the external environment. There are five stages for technology acquisition with the several tasks to accomplish. Establish marketplace requirements. Identify technology solutions. Classify technology solutions. Assess sources of technology acquisition. And make a technology decision. Technology exploitation refers to the utilization of technologies to improve organizational performances of products, services, and processes. The current literature divides the technology exploitation in two parts as internal technology exploitation and external technology exploitation. And protection is a process and a set of activities to protect the knowledge, skills, technologies, and brands of organizations. Intellectual properties cover the skills and capabilities, technologies, and brands of organizations. Patent, licensing activities, and copyrights can be evaluated as protection activities. Our last topic is technology management tools. There may be need for tools to manage technology and its activities. These tools may help organizations to manage technology more effectively. On the other hand, individuals or groups in the organizations which are applicable in the whole company can use these tools. Because the technology management is a multivariate approach, many tools can help and support to manage technology in several ways. These technology management tools may help organizations and create a significant value by integrating them into organizational technology management processes. They assist organizations to achieve goals and objectives. The important issue is selecting the appropriate tool for an organizational problem. Decision makers must know which tool to use. The quality and the utility of the tools must be assessed by the experts. Finally, how to integrate the tools with the others must be examined in organizations. There is no universal technology management tool for all organizations, so configurational approaches must be taken into consideration. So, this is the end of our program for Chapter 5 of the Organizational Theory and Design course. Goodbye and see you in our next program, Chapter 6. Music